So I'm here in Turkey, in Istanbul, with Dr. Slocum at the Chemothermia Clinic. I've just gone through one of my own rounds and I'm excited because Dr. Slocum speaking at a conference uh, in September, coming up very shortly, which is going to explain with Dr. Nasha Winters and also with uh, Patricia Pete, along with many other people. Maybe give us a minute on yourself and what you've done here at Chemotherapy and what you do, and then also explain what you're going to be talking about at the conference. Yes, uh, I'm very excited that I'll be speaking at uh, Metabolic Flexibility Integrative Oncology in Action in London at 23rd of September, so roughly eight days later. It is. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, it's a, a very important event in my eyes because it will uh, bring together leading practitioners in the field. Uh, may it be Neisha Winters, Patricia Pete, Thomas Viraj from United States and me, myself. And uh, mainly I will be talking about the clinical applications of metabolic therapies and uh, the outcomes achieved, uh, our publications, what we practice in our clinic, why we uh, sorted, uh, like why we founded our clinic, where we're coming from. Because uh, me uh, and my colleagues, Professor Berkard and Associate Professor, Professor Mehmet Salih Kesici, we uh, come from a conventional background and we're applying currently uh, cutting edge uh, uh, integrative uh, metabolic therapies in our clinic. And we've made several publications showing that this kind of integrative approach can improve patient outcomes and lives of cancer patients very, very much. I'll try to explain the scientific background of the therapies that we apply, why is hyperthermia being applied, uh, may it be local hyperthermia or whole body hyperthermia, why is hyperbaric oxygen being applied, or why are uh, special infusional therapies being applied alongside conventional therapies, how do we apply chemotherapy, why do we apply it, why do we name it as metabolically supported chemotherapy, uh, so I'll be trying to demystify uh, and clarify these questions that patients might uh, come across and have on their minds uh, and uh, try to shed some light uh, about uh, what is integrative oncology and why it is uh, so important uh, for uh, patients with cancer uh, and what it can do for the future. On that note, this is great, actually you've answered the questions I was going to ask you is somebody watching this if, if somebody's thinking, should I attend? It doesn't have to necessarily be somebody with cancer. It could be somebody who's got a family member with cancer or is doing research, yes. is that correct? Definitely. Uh, like, in my eyes, uh, everybody can attend, uh, attend this conference okay. or shall attend this conference because mm -hmm. currently many of us might not know, but one out of every two males and one out of every three females will get cancer in their lifetime. This is the current statistics. Like is today's statistics and in the, this is an increasing trend every day the frequency is increasing so uh, which is very very unfor unfortunate and uh, that's why uh, i think everybody shall know about cancer and shall know actually uh, it is effectively treatable because mm. uh, many of us uh, approach cancer as uh, a uh, like uh, a, a, death uh, a death sentence yeah. exactly so but it's actually not like that uh, and we can live healthy long lives even if we get cancer if we treat and approach the condition correctly and in this uh, metabolic therapies uh, are crucial uh, for long-term betterment health uh, and uh, a long life so if somebody's watching this thinking oh but is my cancer appropriate to this can we answer that question I mean, I've seen people here with all types of cancer since I've been here. Would that be fair to say? Uh, definitely. Uh, metabolic therapies and integrative approaches are effective in all kinds of cancer. Great. And as far as the viewers are concerned watching, um, is it going to be something they can understand in a reasonably sensible way? Because sometimes people are a bit nervous about listening to doctors speak. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> Our aim is uh, to get the word out and to explain and clarify this right. for uh, may it be patients, may it be companions of patients. Uh, so, uh, but also, of course, uh, healthcare practitioners, physicians, they will also be attending. But our uh, talks mainly will be understandable talks to clarify everything. And besides our talks, there will be uh, sessions to get questions from the audiences directly. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why I think everyone shall attend this event. And uh, if they come there, you will be able to shed some light uh, on this subject and also get their questions and try to clarify them there. It's a pleasure. I'm looking forward to attend the event.